Hi everyone. Welcome back to the DevOps camp. In this video, I will be walking you through how to download the Red Hat Enterprise Linux for free. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is the world's leading enterprise Linux platform, certified on hundreds of clouds and with thousands of hardware and software vendors. Before going to the tutorial, let's get to know about the Red Hat Developer Subscription. So, it's a no-cost offering of the Red Hat Developer Program, designed for individual developers, that includes access to Red Hat Enterprise Linux among other Red Hat products. You may be wondering what are the differences between the paid Enterprise Subscription and the Developer Subscription. The Enterprise Subscription is supported by the Red Hat team depending on the subscription they choose, while the Developer Subscription is self-supported. But, both of the subscriptions are provided with the same Red Hat Linux features. Finally, what's included with the developer subscription? With the single subscription, you are allowed to register up to 16 physical or virtual nodes running Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Also, this subscription has also the Red Hat Linux features including latest releases and updates. To begin with the process, let's navigate to the Red Hat Enterprise Linux website. Then, search download Red Hat Enterprise Linux in your preferred search engine. Then select the first result that come. This will direct you to the downloads page. In this page, you can view details about the Red Hat Enterprise Linux developer subscription, which provides at no cost. First, to download the ISO image, click on download Red Hat Enterprise Linux at no cost. Now, you are directed to the login page. You are required to have a Red Hat account to download this. If you don't have an account already, please follow my steps. You can even try login with social accounts. But I will be following the account creation with my email. Click on register. Here, you just need to fill in the form with your details. For job role and company name, you can fill it with any details you prefer. At the end, click on agree to the terms, and then click on create my account. Once you click on create account, a verification email will be sent to the email address you use to register the account. You need to verify the account before activating the subscription. So, first go to your mail inbox and click the link to verify the account. Once you open the email from Red Hat, click on link to email address verification. Then your account will be automatically get verified. And it will start the downloading automatically. If it does not start within 20 seconds, click on direct link. It will take some time to download the ISO image, depending on the speed of your internet connection. We need to activate the developer subscription to access the features in the Red Hat Enterprise Linux. For that, click on More Ways to Try. Then, in this screen select, Activate your subscription. It will then activate the Red Hat Enterprise Linux developer subscription for your account. Finally, let's check and confirm whether the subscription is activated in our account. For that, click on the profile icon on the top right corner of your web browser. Then, click on Subscriptions. In this page, they are asking us some additional information. For the department select, IT Applications and Development. Then click on Submit. Now you will be directed to the Red Hat Subscription Management Console. Click on Subscriptions on the top toolbar to view your subscriptions. In the inventory table, you will see the Red Hat Developer subscription for individuals and whether it's active or not. You will get the subscription for one year for free. Now, you are all done with the downloading and activating the subscription. You can use the downloaded image to directly install Red Hat in your machine 
or install it as a virtual machine using a software like Oracle VirtualBox. I will bring a video in the near future on installing Red Hat Enterprise Linux on VirtualBox. That's it for this video. Like the video and subscribe to the DevOps Camp for more interesting content. Thank you for watching.